There's a new leak on Twitter today that suggests Yelin Elemental Burst have 1.5 U Elemental Gauge instead of the standard 1 and 2 U. And today I want to talk about why this is really significant. Usually I don't do leak video on stream, but I feel like this is a pretty significant impact that I want to explain why this matter and what does this really mean. And then we can start by explaining Elemental Gauge Theory. Okay, the way Element application work in Genshin Impact, it's through something we call Elemental Gauge Theory. Every character apply element in either weak or strong which is like one unit of hydro or two unit of hydro which is what the U stand for. So for example normal attack in Genshin Impact on Kokomi will apply one unit off of hydro. So right now there will be one unit of hydro on the enemy and if I apply another unit it does not add up to two U but simply refresh the one unit. So what does that mean is that one unit is enough for two reaction of vaporize because each unit take away 0 0.675 unit. So here for example the rune guard currently have one unit of hydro on the enemy uh, on the enemy and then it's exactly enough for me to do a normal attack vaporize and a charge attack vaporize which is two reaction and that will completely take away every element on the enemy because it um the formula just work out right because you have one unit of hydro and then you subtract 0 0.675 that leave you with about 0 0.3 which is enough hydro to do another vaporize reaction we move past that okay just explain the normal thing okay i'm explaining it to casual frog on youtube Aura attacks? No, the the way we do gauges on KQM uh, already uh, included the tags. We already include tags. Holy shit, this is actually pretty scuff. But I I rather make it scuff so that people don't get away with the wrong impression. Now, the more I think about it, I like it scuffed more. Uh, for example, the most significant part is that Sinchu's elemental burst apply one unit of gauges every time you attack, which is enough for two reaction, right? So you can do like uh Sinchu's and then like normal attack charge and then the next time you normal again it will apply another one unit of gauges on sanction elemental burst which let you do another two reaction which is normal attacking on hotel or and charge if if that normal attack happened to have um past icd which mean you can react on that one if you guys have ever heard like why Hu Tao doesn't work that well with Beido or even Toma. It's because those two characters can steal reaction. So because Sinchu's apply one unit of gauge on his elemental burst, which is just enough to do a normal attack and charge, if your Toma or Albedo happen to also do a reaction at that time, it will take away some hydro, right? And when you take away some hydro, there will be not enough hydro for you to do two reaction on Hu Tao. And therefore you're screwed because you will apply end up applying pyro on Hu Tao instead of using the Hydro to Vaporize on Jehu Town. So the enemy will end up with Pyro Infusion and therefore uh, you'll be screwed over because you cannot overtake anymore. Kind of lost? Okay, maybe this is too dank. Yeah, is this too dank? Chat, is this too dank? Alright, so the way it works is Sing Chu's apply one unit of Hydro. Uh, Hu Tao, normal attack, take away 0 0.675. That leaves you with 0 0.3, right? Of Hydro. Something like this, 2.5. Okay, and then using this 0 0.375, uh, we can do another reaction, which take away the remaining. Uh, and so this is two vaporize. So this is the first wave. This is wave one, and this is a vape two. Okay, so the reason why Toma and Albedo is not that great is because let's suppose you apply one unit of Hydro with Sing Chu's. You do a normal attack on Hu Tao, which take away 0 0.675, and that leaves you with uh, 0 0.2, uh, some 0 0.3 Hydro, right? Let's say, round up. And then Albedo come in, Albedo come in and do a Crystallize here. This will take away the remaining 0 0.3 Hydro and leave you with 0. And then your Hu Tao charge attack come in, and because you have zero hydro, you will not vaporize this attack, but you instead apply pyro. So you actually apply pyro on the enemy now, which is bad. Because so you lose a lot of damage, but you also screwed up. Because the next time you normal attack on Sing Chu's, you apply one new hydro, but because the enemy have pyro on them, your Sing Chu's will take this pyro aura and vaporize. So you be vaporizing Sing Chu's instead of Hu Tao. And then you once again have no aura on your enemy because your Sing Chu's instead of applying hydro, he vaporized it. So now your Hu Tao next charge attack will once again reapply hydro and therefore does not vaporize so this means that if you ever run a toma or albedo and you happen to do a reaction right here your hu tao will permanently be screwed over and no longer be able to vaporize any of your charge attack unless you have c16 shoes 
uh, which apply two times one U instead of one U. So C16 chills work a little differently, which apply two times one U instead of just one U, which prevent you from soft locking yourself into this scenario. But if your C chills is not C6 and you screw up, you can permanently no longer be able to vaporize your hutao charge attack within that rotation. So that's why this is significant. And this is the reason why Albedo or Zhongli was not that hot to run with like Hu Tao. And it's the reason why some people don't like running Tomo with Hu Tao. It's because of this. So how does 1.5 U changes Hu Tao? Moving on to the second part of the lectures, if Yalen apply 1.5 U instead, coming into the same scenario, you would normal attack, which delete 0 0.675, right? And then this remained you with 0.825 of Hydro. And then your charge attack will take away another 0.625. So this is your charge attack. And then that remained you with 0.15 Hydro uh, plus DK. Elemental gauges DK. But this here is enough to do another reaction potentially. So what that means is you can actually do a third vaporize here with Yalen that Sinchus cannot do. So Yalen 1.5 unit can supply free reaction instead because I have Hydro remaining, where Singchus can only do two. So that means you actually cannot soft lock yourself into this scenario potentially because what will happen is like if your Toma, if your Toma, which we can represent using this stick figure here, if your Toma do a reaction right here and take away 0 0.675, you still have 0 0.15 unit of Hydro to supply your Hu Tao with that charge attack, which reset the gauges back to zero. So this essentially mean like it's gonna be a lot more comfortable to run Hu Tao with Albedo or Toma because you don't run into that scenario where you soft log yourself or like you get yes, screwed over. And this mean running Toma with Hu Tao will probably run against once again be optimal, especially since um, previous right now the most optimal Hu Tao team to play is LG Amber, which apply Pyro to Swarrow with, and then also carry the LG for the Elemental Mastery buff. But because Yelin is a bow character, she can already carry the LG, and then what will happen is you run Toma here to supply the hydro to also provide a shield to Hu Tao, but you instead run the Yalen here to proc the elegy, but also to supply even more hydro than Sing Chiu's would, and therefore just make the overall team more comfortable run, but also more um, optimal. That's the biggest thing of 1.5U, I think, for Hu Tao. I think the biggest thing that this affects is Hu Tao, right? Hmm. Would this apply more hydro than Sing Chiu's? Uh, no idea, because Sing Chiu's apply like 1U, 1U, two times one you in total. So let's say you're fighting Pyro Abyss Lecter in Abyss. Would Sing Chiu's or Yalen be faster at breaking their shield? And that, at the current moment, I think we have no idea until we test it. But there would be a chances that Yalen is faster than Sing Chiu's at breaking shield because it's just more gauges, right? So when you attack shield in the game, your gauges matter, which is why some attack take away the shield more than other attack. Uh, Sing Chiu's currently have one of the fastest record at taking away Pyro Electric Shield because of how fast he does it. Uh, how many gauges he apply in total. When we're talking about this here, it's the amount of total Hydro that you can apply, which we currently don't know if Yalen will overtake Sing Chiu's, but there might be a good chance that Yalen could overtake Sing Chiu's in terms of the fastest Hydro Applicator because of that. Because you will apply 1.5 times the amount every single Sing Chiu's sword instead. I think the biggest part is like, how does this affect any other pyro character in the game and how does this affect future pyro character as well um number one hot topic shangling i don't think this changes anything yeah i don't think it significantly affects shangling i just felt like it's worth a mention but um, the luke other pyro characters the luke i don't think it changes anything with the luke either because you don't really want the luke toma together the one that i'm interested in is does this change klee klee have a problem right now which is the fact that she cannot reliably vaporize because she actually applied too much pyro to for Sing Chu's to handle. Klee is too much for Sing Chu's to handle. So now that you have a character that applied more than Sing Chu's, would Klee once again be able to work with a hydro characters to be determined when she can actually come out. But the reason why 1.5U is so significant is because might actually shake up a lot of stuff within the pyro character mana just because like that. For electro characters, I don't think it matters because electric charge decays so slow anyway that it doesn't really matter. And for crowd characters, you're limited on crowd application anyway, plus the fact that crowd has expansion of decay so it probably doesn't matter. So it really just came down to two to three characters that affect it. Klee, Hu Tao, and enemies. So 
1.5U is significant in the fact that there could be three things that we overcome. How fast can you apply Hydro for enemy that it matter? How comfortably can you make Wutao and Toma together? And can you save Klee with Yalen? Those are the three questions I can immediately see the answers. Does she have any other advantage? We don't really know. The topic of today is just the 1.5U gauges, so... What about Yomiya? Yomiya doesn't imply- Yomiya doesn't apply Pyro fast enough to for it to matter because... Yomiya doesn't apply like Pyro half the time because of ICD on her normal attack. But yeah, this changes how we see elemental gauge for you as currently there's only three type of gauges that character do, which is 1U, 2U, or uh, 4U. The only character who do 4U is Beidou Elemental Burst and uh, Zhongli Elemental Burst and stuff. Um, most of the character apply either weak application or strong application in the form of either 1U or 2U. So now that we have 1.5U, it's time to update the Elemental Gauge for you, Ming. But overall, 1.5U is just gonna be nicer because 1.5 is more than 1. So it will potentially open up path that we don't see before. You can kind of guess in the current meta of Genshin Impact, they balance it pretty well. And you can kind of guess what gauges each attack apply. If it's if it's a strong hitting attack, it's probably two gauges. If it's a weak hitting attack, it's probably one gauges. Ayato Elemental Burst have a movie in it, so it's two gauges. Ayato Elemental Skill is a weak hitting attack, so it's one gauges. Chayo Elemental Burst is a strong hitting attack, so it's two gauges. Everything else about Chayo is like one gauges because it's not a it's not a pyong, right? You can pretty much apply the same logic to determine like how much gauges every single thing apply. Hu Tao Elemental Burst is like pung, and then like Kokomi Elemental Burst is like pung, and then Mona Elemental Burst is like pyong. Yeah, Chao's stand change is 2U, which is like an exception, but his attack and rift types are 1 gauges, right? So like, let me see. Beto Elemental Burst is 4 gauges because she's the biggest chat woman in existence. Uh, but pretty much everything else, you can usually guess the gauges of it. And in history, Every single attack that can rapidly apply element is always one gauges, which is how the game is balanced. But now that you apply 1.5, it's just two free reaction instead of two. And uh, it'll be really interesting to see how to open up stuff. So yeah, it, it will change a lot of stuff. It, it'll probably potentially change it up a lot of stuff. And so this is why 1.5U on Dalen significantly matter a lot more than it seems. Especially since a lot of people probably doesn't even know what does any of this U things mean. Fucking Twitter frog. A lot of people probably don't even know like how many, what, what gauges mean and anything like that. So um, I imagine other fear crafter would also talk about this. Like uh, Sacha77, I think he will probably talk about how significant 1.5U is either so um yeah this will be a hot topic for free crafters since this is leak content we won't be talking about it in the upcoming free crafting table but or we can do like leak free crafting table just don't tell anyone what we do a discussion so anyway with that being said that's pretty much it yeah hey guys after the initial segment i was still thinking about genshin impact while i was sleeping for that day uh, so there's actually something else i came up about 1.5u there's currently this tech where because one unit of hydro can supply two vaporized reaction what you can do is right when the pyro nado hit on Shangling, you do a Bennett elemental skill to also do another reaction but also generate pyro energy. So you do something like this where you do the pyro nado but as soon as the pyro nado hit you do a Bennett elemental skill which also generate you the pyro energy but also do another vaporized reaction. Now this is really really hard to do because you have to be exactly like frame perfect on your timing um, but with 1.5 you being able to supply free reaction you might potentially have a lot of leeway to do this which mean that you might be able to get away with dramatically reducing the energy amount requirement on your Xiang Ling since uh, you'll be able to generate a tons of pyro energy using your Bennett elemental skills. So from there you can see how 1.5 you will be really really significant when it comes down to Genshin impact. It dramatically changes how we see pyro characters potentially other crowd characters or, or just uh, electro characters i don't think electro characters and crowd character will see much changes because of the fact that they're still limited by the other element so in electric charge you still need uh you're still limited by electro gauges in crowd freeze you're still limited by crowd gauges and you have exponential decay but for pyro characters i think 1.5u will change up a lot of things so that's why nilin will potentially change up genshin impact for you crafting forever so with that being said this is going to be the actual end of the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all next time